message coming straight from the heart in path to impart we're giving all sinners a brand new start in path to impart we're sending the message Father, in the name of Jesus, we lift up this nation of Trinidad and Tobago. Lord, at this time, as we prepare to celebrate and have already celebrated our 57th independence, we pray, dear God, that you would minister to a nation, Lord. We thank you for bringing us through the times that we would have just spent, this time of a shaking in our land. We thank you, God, Lord, for your word being made available to us that we have the the ability yet to repent to come into alignment to your will i pray for the leaders of this nation or president or prime minister or chief justice lord all of our prime leaders lord the leader of the opposition or leader here in tobago or chief secretary and those that are working lord at high places we lift up our leaders in the security services we pray that you would give them answers lord that they will be able to deal with or escalating crime situation we pray oh god lord more so for our leaders within the churches lord pastors ministers bishops prophets evangelists apostles lord we pray for them the lord you god would minister your grace to them that they would be staying true to their call and to their purpose we pray for deacons and other leaders within the church the body of christ help us to be light though to shine bright in this nation Trinidad and Tobago, oh God, Lord, that your word will not be blasphemed, your name will be made manifest, and your will and your purpose will be fulfilled in us. We pray that, Lord, you, O oh God, will continue to glorify yourself, Lord, in our young men and your young women. We pray that you bring them out of dark places and cause them to walk in your marvelous light. And even so, God, as we, God, celebrate our independence again, we pray that you, O oh God, will cause us to understand fully that have authority have been given unto us uh, and we need to walk in that level of responsibility to the authority that have been given unto us so we commit this time into your hands we pray for this broadcast that it will be a blessing to all that will tune into it in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah we are so happy to be in your company today we'll be back and i'll be sharing with you concerning some precious things from the word of god impact to impart we're sending no message coming straight from the heart impact to impart we're giving all sinners a brand new start warm welcome impact. to one and all this is impact to impact ministry i'm your host bishop sheldon holder and we want you to know that you can come join us here at our beautiful sanctuary every sunday at 9 a.m midweek services we have street meetings and fridays young samuels club youth children and youth ministries we want to let you know that you can be blessed even as you would come so come be a part of us and let us have a wonderful time together remember we are here to share the message of hope he offers peace eternally we're here to help other people escape shalom coming straight from the heart impact to impart we're giving all sinners a brand new start impact to impart we're sending the message praise the lord well happy independence for that and tobago we want to just say congratulations to every citizen and uh, those of you who do love our nation trinidad and tobago as we celebrate our independence again I want to take some time in this broadcast to speak to us and hopefully get to give some directives that will help us as a nation, as a people, in fulfilling God's mandate to us. You see, when I think about uh, independence, I, my mind immediately goes on one that is liberated, one that is set free. And uh, indeed, we would have been under the rule of uh, British um, leadership, um, by the, led by the Queen of England. We... Um, would have been given our rights, and this is very important, the right to govern ourselves. That is what have been happening. Now, on this island, whether we came from Africa, from India, um, whether we came in as industrial workers or we were brought as slaves, we were here. 
And because of that, this island now have been come our home. You know, our forefathers would have been um, looking at where they would have come from. But people like myself who was born here, is this, uh, you know, we celebrate in 57 years. And uh, I'm born here, grow here. I only know here. I don't know of another country. So this is my country. And, and I'm, I'm happy to say God bless Trinidad and Tobago. God bless our nation. But I want to just share concerning this. And where, what does this have to do with uh, spiritual broadcast? Uh, everything, it has everything to do with it. Because you see, what our independence speak about, as I would have mentioned, it, it speaks about a, liberis, a liberization, a person that is liberated from under the bondage of. You see, what have been happening before is that um, whatever it is that we needed here was directives were given directly from England and uh, it would come through through their generals through her, whoever they would have you know set here and put put um, in charge over over the people it means that we we did not have the ability to own um, property we didn't have the ability or the rights to to ourselves we were slaves and when we gain our independence um, we would have been now given the right, and uh, the word right really speaks of authority. Two, one, protect yourself. So one of the first things you would see that we would have been given, and that's why every independence we, we see a, a march pass. It's not just to march pass. It's a demonstration of our military strength. So we, we're given now the right to protect ourselves, and also we're given the right to govern ourselves as a people. Um, those are two very fundamental rights. We're given the rights to govern ourselves and to protect ourselves. Protect ourselves from other strong nations, other people that may want to try to come to possess our land, and also to govern ourselves so that we can be able to conduct business with each other in a proper, fair, and uh, you know, reasonable, manageable way. So our, our responsibility was given unto us and you know as we would have looked at our history i, I want to talk to my leaders today i want to ask our leaders today um to, as you would reflect on you know, independence not just about the celebration and the popping of the champagne it's a question that we must ask ourselves is that if it is that we have been performing the function for which we have been given if we have been able to govern ourselves you know govern yourself means that you have the right to to make laws to determine what works best for you in your situation and uh, you know it's sad that even though we have been given so much years so much opportunity to do this at times we do feel so strained that it it, it seems like if what we what we do for ourselves to ourselves is so unjust and so unfair we have given the right to to manage our resource and to to take care of what we have and as we celebrate independence this year we want to just ask our leaders to indeed lead us aright, you know, take care of our resource, help us that we wouldn't have a lawless nation, that our nation wouldn't be overrun by thugs and bullies and, and people that are just exploiters, but that our nation would be a people that is strong, a people that are intelligent, a people that are wise, that we could be not just as we label ourselves a blessed nation, but we can be a nation that really knows what we're about so as we get ready for a next year as an independent nation we want to just encourage our nation let us continue to go forward but one of the key elements in all of this is that we must understand that god bless our nation that's in our it's in our anthem it's in our songs it's it's in our pledges god blessing our nation and uh, as a people we want to receive the blessings of god and today as i would share with you concerning authority in this broadcast, it's, it's a very special thing for us to understand that authority, when authority is given, one must be able to exercise the authority and exercise it well. I want to take you into the Word of God and I would just look at a little portion of Scripture and we're going to build where we at. I hope that you have been blessed with our broadcast week after week. I would have challenged the ladies on my last broadcast to pray. The, the broadcast before we call our men forward we say men stop hiding time to step up you know but today i want to just go one step further in our call because as we celebrate independence i want to put your mind in a particular scope of things also from the word of god and i know you mightn't see the 
the, the connection is there, but just stay with me in this broadcast. I'm in the book of Mark, Mark's Gospel, chapter 13 and verse 34. Verse 34 is a part of a series of thought statements made by Jesus Christ. I'm not going to go back to it. It was a question asked by, and they, they would have assembled themselves together. It was James, Peter, and John, and Andrew also. They were gathered together and they started to ask Jesus some question privately. And he, they asked him, tell us when shall these things be? What shall be the sign when all these things shall come to fulfillment? And we normally preach this when we talk about end times and all of that. The end is indeed evidentially here. But it's not just the end we're studying about and what is happening in the end. The real issue for me today is what are you doing with the authority that have been given to you? And this is what I want to express us. As we talk about a nation being independent, what have we been doing as a nation with the authority that has been given unto us? Are we just throwing it away, throwing it back into the hand of somebody else, just giving away our resources, just handing over all that we possess to our enemy? Or are we able to be good custodians? You know, see, Jesus Christ made a statement, and this is where I want us to focus in on verse 34. 34. When it says, as Jesus Christ would have expressed all these things about the end, what is going to be happening, right? Um, false prophets, etc. But he made this statement, he says, and I want us to zoom in on it. Here he says, for the Son of Man, this, he wanted to talk about how he's going to come back. And the coming back, it means that it's going to be an accountability time, right? So let me read it. It says, for the Son of Man is as a man taking a far journey, who left his house and gave authority to his servants and to every man his work and commanded the porter to watch now where are we going with this the son of man right is as a man taking a far journey christ made this available to us he said i'm taking a journey and i'm going to give some instructions I'm going to leave some authority with you. Christ actually said to us, Behold, I give unto you authority. Whatsoever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatsoever you loose on earth is loose in heaven. Christ is saying to us today, We have been given authority. And today as I talk in the context of independence, yes, but also in the context of your life, your Christian life as a leader, as a man, as a woman, we have to understand that Christ has given unto us authority. Now, hear what the scripture says here. It says here that as he left, the man left on his journey, he gave authority, instructions to his servants. Now, the thing about this is that if we could just think about a man with a household and is given instructions, now, you're a little bit fast if you want to tell the owner of a house how to give instruction. You're a little bit out of order. If, if, if a king is giving instructions you, you're quite out of place to try to tell them how to give instruction. And who to give instructions to because you are the ruler of your house. So, this man would have spoken to his farmers. And he might have told his farmers, listen, the crops are going to be coming in at such and such time. You know how it goes. I want you all to make sure and take time to harvest them. Harvest them because the fields are going to be ripe at this season. Harvest them. Do not let them waste. He would have called his, his shepherds and he would have spoken to his shepherds. He said, listen, I want you to make sure don't cross breed. Don't let this happen. Don't, don't, don't be... Don't line them up wrong. And I want you to make sure that when it's time for sharing, that the sharing is done and collect the wool and you store them in a particular place. He would have spoken to those that are taking care of the cattle. And, 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 and he would have given instruction and authority to each grouping. But then he would have called his supervisors, the leaders of the house. And he would have said to them, now you remember, I want you to remember that you are in charge of this. So whatever it is that you need to do, you do what you must. I, I already told the farmers what they need to know. But you are in charge to be able to help to keep this house together. 
Now, I, I know you're already in my, your mind start gathering where I've gone with this. Because Christ have indeed called us. He called some apostles and some evangelists and some pastors and, and prophets and teachers. And their responsibility is supervisory role to perfect the saint. So he, he's given instruction. And the brethren, every single one of you that are watching broadcast, he have given unto you some particular instructions. The trouble is that when he comes and he speaks concerning authority, this is where we're getting ourselves in trouble. And this is why I want to speak to you today. Because when authority is given, one must be able to take your authority seriously. Take your responsibility and execute it. You know, the word of God says, and he, he spoke in another parable. He said, I gave some gifts, right? A good man, a master of a house, again going on a journey. And he gave some talents, some monetary contributions to three servants, as he mentioned. One got ten, one five, and one one. And they were supposed to use their initiative, use their authority, use their creativity, use their innovation, use anything that they can use to make sense with the investments that he would have given unto them. The one with five did his part, he got ten. The one with ten did his part, he, got, he gained some more. The one with one, you know what he said? The Bible says he did. He took it and he just hid it. He hid it away. And he said, I ain't doing nothing because that master, he liked to, to reap where he have not sown. His thoughts and his expressions were so contrary towards authority given to him. And I want to tell you today, nation and people, in the house of God, you have been given authority. Christ has given unto us authority. And how do we really deal with this authority? You know what the word of God talks about in Matthew's gospel, chapter 8. In Matthew chapter 8 talks about how authority really should be looked at and dealt with. Matthew 8 verse 8 and 9. This is the words of the centurion who had his child ill, sick, very sick to dine. The centurion answered and said to the Lord, he said, I'm not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. But speak the word only. You, I don't want you to come by me because I'm not worthy. My hands have blood. I, I know what holiness is supposed to be, but I'm not doing it. I'm not worthy of it, but I have a real crisis on my hand. My child is sick and I need help. You can't come by me to pray for that child, but speak the word only. And the centurion went on, he said, he said, for I am a man under authority having soldiers under me so he has somebody over him and he have men under him he now expresses that i say to this man come or go and he go it and to another come and he come it and to my servant do this and he do it it now this is this is what the soldier is saying the soldier is saying, I know that I'm not qualified for your holiness to be in my presence. But I'm asking a request of you. Because you have authority. I understand that you have authority. I, I'm seeing what is happening. The authority of Jesus was expressive. It was explosive. The authority of Jesus was made manifest because we know for sure what is the difference no other human being in the history of humanity had ever operated with the kind of authority under which christ operated he was the son of god and his evidence was that like in mark's gospel chapter 1 verse 27 he says there and when they were and they were all amazed in so much that they questioned among themselves saying what thing is this what new doctrine is this for with authority commanded he even the unclean spirits and they do obey him you see they, they recognize authority they recognize authority because there is order there is order and we we must be a people of order 
the word of God expresses further Matthew, Matthew 8 verse 16 that there's the, a the soul there in verse 13 Jesus said unto him go thy way and as thou hast believed so be it done unto thee and verse 16 says and when the even was come they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils and he cast out the spirits with his word and healed all that were sick his, his authority was expressed with words what we say is important what we what we put out there is very important and jesus christ is saying unto us today i want you to say whatsoever you bind so say it whatsoever you lose you say it you want blessings you say it what do you want say it right because i have authority not only do i have authority but christ is saying to us i have given you authority now the queen of england has authority their sovereignty as a nation as a people military their military strength english the english colony small little nation but very powerful because of their military might because of their intellectual light might because of the 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 research and the scientific might because of of these things they they have a particular edge and they're not they're not superpowers because they just happen to be because there are things that have been given into their hand so a person that is an an english citizen will speak under certain authority a person that is an, an, an american citizen speaks at a certain authority you do do you know who what i am i am an american but quite the contrary when it comes to us when we say i'm a trini i'm a tobagonian we, we we speak very gingerly tenderly because apparently our, our might our power is not at the level of others but we must understand as a nation that we we too must fortify ourselves we must develop ourselves as a people that our our intelligence must be at a level at our, our military might should be at a level in our zone we, we shouldn't have this our borders uh, according to our prime minister porous borders and this is not a, a, an economic game it shouldn't be that we, we, we are mismanaging our resources because when we mismanage our resources it means that there's somebody there somebody waiting to exploit us right somebody's waiting to exploit our resource somebody's waiting to exploit us of our of our rights somebody's waiting to exploit us as a people so we must be strong we must have strong military might my admonition to our our our, our chief um um police personnel um the the the, the head of the police is to, to be strong have a strong hand the, the head of national security let your hand be strong and don't don't let thugs and bullies push us around because we have to pull our nation together because if you don't we're going to be a people that are most miserable and what does this have to do with the kingdom of god jesus christ is saying to us the same way to you my friend he said i give you authority because there are demons there are spirits that wants to 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 knock you about and and bully you you know there, there are spirits that are out there that as a people you you you've been pushed around you know people come and and i mean people come all the time you know, demon possessed why, why is that because because some spirit does want to to occupy the word of god says the thief came to steal to kill and destroy it means that he's a a bully but jesus christ said i give you authority to deal with him are you hearing me today i've given you authority to deal with him you in my name you cast out demons now i want to tell you quickly that authority authority doesn't beg uh, when when it is that you're an authority you don't beg there's a difference between a son that is born into a family and an adopted child 
An adopted child, if they don't feel that they belong, they have to sneak and beg. A son walks into the kitchen and they go and have a meal. A visitor is different to a son. When Jesus Christ was on earth, he operated not as a visitor. He operated as the son of God, the son of man. Because he had been given authority. He never asked a demon, could you please come out? He never said to blindness, blindness, if it is, if it is possible, could you just leave this person? But when he did, when he dealt with any situation, he spoke to it. Clearly, he said, come out. And he didn't say, Father, do you, do you really want me to deal with this one now? No, he didn't do that. He asked the person, what do you want? And when they gave the request, he said, well, be it unto you. Whatever it is that you ask, I'm willing to do it. What do you want? That I may see? Receive your sight. What do you want? I want to walk. Get up and walk. What do you want? My daughter is ill. I need her to be, to be touched. Well, be it as unto you. Go. It is done. The authority that Jesus Christ operated it is the same authority that he gave to us. He said that we have been given authority. Authority to heal. Authority to deliver. Authority to cast out. Bind. Break yokes. Undo heavy burdens. And the word of God have given it into our hands Jesus Christ have given it I want to wrap up because I want you to understand today even as we celebrate our independence you have been given authority to operate as a citizen every one of us have been given authority but our higher authority is in Christ and today even as he's his word is said unto us I am gonna be back again I want to tell you today I would have challenged the ladies to be praying I would have challenged the men to get up, get up men, get up, get up. I want to say to us, let us fulfill the instructions given unto us by our master. It's about time that you get up and function in the authority for which Christ had given to you. I want to let you know that I'll be continuing this next time on our broadcast. We'll be sharing about the authority that you have. And I want to let you know that God is indeed standing with you. Trinidad and Tobago, happy independence. Nation and Trinidad and Tobago and the nations of the world, we want to let you know that Christ is Lord indeed. He's Lord over all. He's Lord of all. Today, I want to thank you for joining our broadcast again. Even as we be going, I want to just remind you to give us a visit at Impact to Impact Ministries, corner Plymouth Road Union Connector. Come check us out. Every Sunday morning, we meet at 9 a.m., and you are most welcome to be a part of it. And uh, we want to let you know that our children, our youth, our programs are on. Join our children and our, our children program every Friday at 4.45 p.m. Parents, please don't keep the children at home. Send them to the house of God, right? Our youth program that starts at 6 o'clock, you can be a part of it. But whatever you do, ensure that you are walking in the will of God. I want to encourage every preacher to fulfill your purpose. Every single one of you, stand fast in the liberty where Christ has made you free and perform the thing that he has asked you to do without fear or favor. This is Bishop Holder saying we love you. Indeed, we declare the blessings of God upon each and every one of you. Until next time, may the peace of God be with you. Shalom. Impact. Coming straight from the heart Impact to impart We're giving all sinners a brand new start Impact to impart We're sending the message